All right, boys and girls, so let's talk a little bit about the history of Earth Day. We just learned that Earth Day started many, many years ago. It was started by a man named Gaylord Nelson, and it was started because there was an oil spill into the ocean, and he didn't like that. He really, he, he didn't like the way that it was hurting the ocean, it was hurting the water, it was hurting all the animals and the sea life that lived in that water. And he said, he, he thought that we needed to make it known. We needed to make people know that we needed to protect our earth and everything on the earth. So he wanted to make a special day for the earth so that everybody all over could pay special attention, especially on this day. I mean, remember, we should be taking care of our earth every day, but especially on this one particular day, everybody across the, across the whole world should be paying special attention to the earth. So he wanted to, um, like I said, he wanted to do this because he wanted people to know that by the things that they were doing, um, throwing stuff in the ocean and littering on the streets and not picking up things after yourself. And they, we, we were hurting our earth. So the next year, starting April 20th in 1970, and every year since then, we've celebrated Earth Day on April 22nd. Okay, so what can you do for Earth Day? How do we celebrate Earth Day? How do we show the Earth that we appreciate it, that we love it, that we want to take care of it so it's around for a long time? Well, some of the things that we talked about in science, if you remember, one of those things is to plant a new tree. If you remember, uh, we were talking about the Lorax and um, we use trees for all different kinds of things. We use, they cut trees down to make paper. They cut trees down to make furniture. They cut trees down for all types of different things. And so then what happens when they cut down all the trees and there's none left? What are we gonna do then? So one important thing that you can do on Earth Day is to plant a new tree. If everybody plants a new tree, imagine how many trees there'll be in the future after they have time to grow. Another thing that we can do is those three things, those three R's that we talked about, reduce, reuse, and recycle. If you remember, we talked about that not too long ago in science class, and reduce means to use less of something. Um, not use so much plastic, not use so much um, paper. Uh, instead of using plastic water bottles every day, buy a bottle and use that one every day so that we're not throwing away plastic water bottles. Um, reuse. When we um, use a plastic bag or if you use a, something plastic that can be used again, don't throw it away or use your, your glass stuff or your other plastic stuff so that we're not having to throw things away. And the last one is recycle. We talked about how we can recycle paper products, plastic products, um, plastic like the water bottles, paper products like milk cartons and newspapers. We can also recycle glass products and also aluminum products like cans. <clears throat> All right, so that's reduce, reuse, and recycle. And another way that we can help the earth on Earth Day is to um, walk or ride a bicycle. If we're not driving our cars, then we're not putting all that, that, um, that exhaust out into the air and it's not harming our atmosphere. It's not hurting the, the air that we breathe. So every now and then we like to stop riding around in our cars and give the air, the earth a break and um, let it just have some clean air. Okay, let's go on to the next one. All right, you should be on the front cover of your Earth Day book, which shows a picture of the earth. And on the bottom, it says this book belongs to, go ahead and write your name in there. Make sure that you're writing with capital letters. And you can write your first and your last name if you can fit it in there. When you're done, open up your book so you're looking at the inside. All right, we're inside of our book right now. And on the left side where you see the Earth Day maze, 
where it says help collect all of the trash, I want you to look at the bottom of the page where you see the word page with an empty little box. This is page number two. So I want you to go ahead and write the page number two in that box. When you're done, go ahead and help the girl pick up all the trash along the way to the trash can. So you're gonna trace your pencil and find the maze, find your way along the maze to help the girl pick up all the trash and find your way to the trash can. When you're done, come to the next page where it says Earth Day Facts. And again, go down to the bottom of the page where you see the word page and the empty box. And this is page number three. So write the number three in that box. And then come back up to the top. We're gonna fill in um, the empty boxes or the empty blanks there. The words have already been dotted in for you so you can just trace the words that are there. I'm gonna go ahead and read it so you can follow along with me with your finger. The first sentence says, the first Earth Day was celebrated in 1970. So go ahead and trace the word Earth. Notice that the word Earth is with a capital letter because that is a proper noun. It's the name of a place. Earth is a proper noun. Number two says Earth Day is on April 22nd every year. So go ahead and trace the word April in that box. And every year it's the same day. April 22nd is always Earth Day. And the last one on the bottom says it is important to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Go ahead and trace the word reuse in the box. And when you're finished, go ahead and turn to the back of your book. All right, and here we are at the end of our Earth Day mini book. And here we're going to fill in the blanks by um, finishing the sentence to tell about some things that we like to do. All right, for number one, the first one, it says, my favorite game to play outside is. I want you to think of something that you like to do outside and go ahead and write your answer in there. Do your best, think about what you wanna say, think about the sounds of the words, I'm sorry, the, th the sounds of the letters in the word and just try your best to write it, just like you do when we're in school. All right, the second one says, I like to play outside with blank. What do you like to play outside with? Do you like to play outside with cars? Do you like to play outside with dolls, with a ball? What do you like to play outside with? Go ahead and think about it and write your, in, write your answer in the blank. The next one says, my family always recycles blank. Think about something that your family always recycles. Do you always put paper in the recycling bin? Do you always put plastic? Do you always recycle glass? Maybe you always recycle cans. Think of something that your family recycles and write that word in the blank. The last one on the page says, I love the earth because. Why do you love the earth? I love the earth because it's my home. Think of a reason that you love the earth. I know there's millions of them, but just think of one reason why you love the earth and write your answer in the blank. I also forgot at the bottom of the page, this would be page four. So go ahead and write the number four in the box at the bottom next to where it says page for page number four. I hope you enjoyed learning about Earth Day and that you continue practicing um, ways to help protect the Earth and keep it protected so it lives for a long, long, long time. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.